Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. I hope you're all doing really, really well and a big warm welcome if you're new here. This video is an unashamedly honest guide to styling women's body shapes, focusing on bigger busts, on how to dress them and do's and don'ts of tops in particular. What works and what doesn't work so well when you have a bigger bust. I'm also filming this in the run up to the US Mother's Day, so it's a real time to celebrate women. First of all, I have to say that I have a fairly big bust myself, so I totally empathise with all of you lovely ladies who have the same sort of shape. I've spent decades kind of dealing with them, if you can say that. And I know that a lot of clothes out there aren't really made for bigger busts, so I wanted to help ladies who are having difficulties with that. We're going to be looking at how you may want to dress them too. This is something that people tend to forget when they're advising what to wear for which body shape because maybe you want to show off your assets from time to time, or maybe you want to minimize them. And of course, the styling is totally different for both approaches. So these do's and don'ts are pretty unique in this video actually, because I've got do's, don'ts, and maybe do's, depending on if you want to show off your assets a little bit more. I'm approaching styling big busts from the point of view of looking your best and the most flattering look. So making the best of your luscious curves, but not looking cheap. And I've got a giveaway today as well. So more of this later in the video. So what are the main problems, if you like, with having a bigger bust? Well, firstly, they're not a problem. I think we should all be proud of our beautiful curves. No body shape is a problem. It's just a case of knowing how to style it. So having them actually does affect though the tops that you wear, the dresses, the jackets, the coats. But today I'm focusing just on the flattering tops actually, because they are really key to your look. Before I get into the styling points, I just have a little horror story that happened to me that I'd love to share with you. I used to work for the government abroad and I was attending a British Embassy reception in North Africa one evening. It was a warm evening and we were on the terrace of the ambassador's residence and I was wearing a buttoned up dress, buttoned up to about here. The US ambassador approached me and as I reached out to shake his hand, like that, my button popped off the top of my dress. Can you imagine my mortification? It's quite funny to, to talk about it now, but at the time I was beyond embarrassed. So this could be a bit of a pitfall of having a bigger bus, can't it? So I'd love it, ladies, if you'd like to share any horror stories um, in the comments section below, it'd be wonderful to hear from you. So now let's dive into your styling goals for big busts. The first question is, do you want to hide your bust or do you want to show it off? Because this will make all the difference to what to wear and how to style your bust area. You might want to show it off maybe for certain occasions like a special night out or a special occasion. Many women with a fuller bust are more top heavy and they may have a shorter torso because the larger breasts are taking up more space in the upper body. So there's less space between your chest and your waistline. Uh, but of course this varies from person to person. But the key to styling a big bust therefore is to avoid adding more volume to this area, to your chest area, and also to wear the right shaped bottoms to balance out your shape. So let's look at a crucially important aspect of styling a big bust with your tops, which is the necklines. So I'm going to give you a don't here. Don't wear, maybe, high necklines. And I'm going to show you what I mean with this look. By and large, high necklines, such as turtlenecks, such as this, involve a lot of material and they cover the large area of your bust, making it look larger and adding the illusion of more volume. They draw the eye into your chest emphasizing it. Uh, so you might not choose this if you want to minimize your bust. So that's why it's a maybe really, uh, because if you want to enhance the look of the size of your bust and make your assets more noticeable, higher necklines, especially if they're fitted tops, would definitely do the job. Do, on the other hand, wear open necklines. They have the effect of breaking up the space around the chest so that your chest and torso look more elongated and less cut off and chunky. V-necks, wrap tops, these are all brilliant. Scoop necks and sweetheart necklines are also very flattering. If you wish to show off your cleavage more, open necklines are really perfect. Just choose one that has a deeper V or a deeper cut down, a deeper scoop shape. Um, a less deep V or just a light scoop neck is perfect if you want to flatter your bust but not make a big thing of it. 
although I would caution against those tops that just have a little minimal v-neck here or a minimal curve here because actually they shorten the look of your body and the look of your, your torso and make it look much chunkier. Either way, open necklines are slimming and very flattering with or without exposure. And little Chanel knows all about necklines because she's got them really nailed. That was my little cat Chanel. Uh, you may have seen her before. She just wanted to pop in. She gets very into all this style advice. Now, just before I go on to the shape of tops that we need to think about if you've got a bigger bust, I'd like to look at accessories because they're an often forgotten aspect, which is really important. Accessories can play a really big role in flattering your bust and your body or not. Okay, so let's look at necklaces. Don't wear chunky necklaces. Chunky necklaces, as you can see here, add bulk to the whole chest area. So you wanna avoid anything that's chunky, heavy looking, or just big, because it will make your whole chest look much bigger. Also, try not to choose necklaces that end right on the most prominent part of your bust here, and just add to the whole sticking out effect. Do wear minimalist necklaces, like this one that I'm wearing here daintier or lighter looking minimalist necklaces which don't add bulk to your chest and also the necklaces should fall either higher up than your bust around your throat or a little lower or much much longer underneath your chest. Here are some other ways to take the eye away from your chest with accessories so do wear watches and sunglasses. So wear accessories that take the eye away from the chest area. You may have noticed that I'm sporting on my arm a fabulous watch from Nordgreen, which is my go-to watch company of choice. Wearing a watch is a great way to distract the eye from your chest area because it actually focuses on a really slim part of your body that's a long way from your chest. I'm wearing the Nordgreen Native watch here with a five link strap in a mixture of gold and silver colored metals. You can actually change the strap according to what works with your outfit too. Nordgreen do a range of leather or gold or silver straps with different links. Not only is a fabulous, beautifully crafted fine watch like this perfect to distract the eye from your bust, it's also a special gift, particularly at this time of the year too, for Mother's Day. Now I know that Mother's Day can be a difficult time for many of us who, if you're like me, you don't have a mother anymore and my heart goes out to you. I know how it feels. So I like to think of Mother's Day as a special day for all women and a giving back day. When we show love and appreciation for all women, especially those that we love and cherish in our lives. So that's why a watch from Nordgreen is the perfect gift, as Nordgreen has a giving back program where every watch sold contributes to a meaningful cause, which you can decide when you purchase the watch. It could be Water for Good or Cool Earth or Pratham UK, which is education for children in India. So it feels right and a bit emotional, to be honest, to be able to give so much through Nordgreen, as well as honouring a special lady in our lives or even buying one for ourselves. I mentioned sunglasses before and excitingly, Nordgreen also makes the most stylish and beautiful sunglasses, such as these. They're not only one of my favourite accessories, but also a great distraction from the bust area as it takes the eye up away from the chest. Nordgreen has a gorgeous range of on-trend but also classic minimalist sunglasses, much like their watches. Now mine are the Faro, a timeless classic look with Scandinavian design. I mean what could be better? Great quality, a great look and they come in a range of colours too which is perfect for summer. Like everything at Nordgreen they're made responsibly and with the aim of finding a balance between profit and purpose and being aware of their social and environmental impact. Nordgreen is aiming to become plastic neutral setting themselves a goal to use 50% less plastic in 2023 compared to 2022. So ladies, I have a discount for you. 15% off everything on the Nordgreen site. If you go through the link, which is showing on the screen now, and I'm gonna put it on the description underneath as well, and you use the code Deirdre. But, and here's the best news. I expect you were wondering about that fabulous, enormous giveaway that I talked about at the beginning of the video, and here it is. I have a Nordgreen gift card worth $300 to gift to one lucky winner. So everything I've been talking about and everything you've just seen 
could be yours, or you can choose exactly what you like. <laughs> At the end of the video, I will let you know how you can enter into this free giveaway, so wait for that information. So, on with the styling points for big busts, and a really important part of this, which is top shapes. The shape of the top that you choose can make a huge difference to the way you look, whether you want to show off your assets a little more, or whether you want to minimise their look. The first don't is don't wear spaghetti strap tops. So you can see in this look here, I'm actually guilty of wearing them myself sometimes. Uh, but the reason why they're not ideal for ladies with big busts is, as you can see here, firstly, the straps are just too thin in comparison with the size of the chest. They draw a lot more attention to the bust than you might want. Uh, and because you have to wear a strapless bra with them, it doesn't always provide enough support. So one key takeaway from this is the importance, of course, uh, of choosing the right bra, a good quality bra um, that gives support. Now, I will link a few in the video description underneath the video, which give good quality and do give support as well. Instead, do wear wide strapped tops. As you can see in this picture, with this beautiful Bowden ribbed scoop neck top, love this. In comparison, you can see the wider strap and the V or scoop neck neckline is much more flattering than the thin spaghetti straps. It looks more in proportion. And of course, you can wear like a normal regular bra. You don't have to worry about a strapless bra with this shaped top. My next don't for a top is don't wear lots of details and ruffles. As you can see, you need to steer away from any top shape that adds volume or detailing to your upper body. Ruffles are a case in point, of course, because they add a lot of volume and attention. So instead, do wear neutral looking tops with minimal details. So if you're into minimizing the look of your bust area, go for neutral, simply styled tops, minimal detailing or V-necks. And these will all help to minimize and de-emphasize the area you're trying to conceal. Another type of top you should not be wearing is don't wear loose or boxy tops. Now, whether you wanna show off your curves or minimize them a little bit, loose or boxy tops are definitely not the way to go. They they will totally hide any shape you have, but also make you look like, well, a box. And this makes you look larger than you are all over. For you ladies with your lovely curves, you need to wear pieces with more definition, particularly at the waist. I don't mean skin tight, but something like do wear peplum tops instead. Peplum tops are perfect if you have a bigger bust. They give you the illusion of a waist, they make the best of your bust, but they don't overdo the whole thing. So the next tops that I suggest you don't wear are also a maybe. Now you recall when at the beginning I said a maybe is if you want to emphasize your assets, this is not gonna be a don't, okay? So don't, or maybe don't, wear halter neck tops. Okay, halter necks. This is another style where it depends on what your goals are for how to look. Halter necks tend to bring more focus to the chest and therefore make the bust look larger. So if that's a look that you want, then that's great. If not, avoid halter necks as they do make your chest look wider and overall bigger. So instead of halter necks, try those peplum tops, a great all-rounder for flattering your figure. So here's a don't, and it really is a don't. Don't wear cropped tops. Just don't. <laughs> cropped tops make the torso look shorter and the bust look larger. Effectively, cropped tops stop the eye just under the bust. So it looks much chunkier, much wider. So one type of top that you really need to wear, they are so beautiful, it's definitely a do, is do wear vertical stripes. If you like to give the illusion of a slimmer, smaller size, particularly around your bust, wear vertical stripes. These elongate your body beautifully. Adding the illusion of length is a great way to create subtle balance to a big bust. The next don't is don't wear voluminous sleeves. Now steer away from voluminous sleeves, which add more bulk to the top half of your body. So when you put your arms down, your torso area looks larger. And when you raise your arms, your body also looks wider. Instead, do wear simple fitted sleeves. They're much more flattering, they don't draw attention to your upper body, and they give you a more slimline silhouette. Another thing that you shouldn't do is don't wear styles that draw the eye to the shoulder, so off the shoulder tops. But again, this is a bit of a maybe, because if you want to emphasize your bust, then do wear off the shoulder tops. So if you would like to enter into the free giveaway for a Nord Green gift card, value $300, 
All you need to do is put a comment underneath this video and include the words Nord Green, and that will automatically get you an entry into the free draw. The winner will be announced in two weeks. I'm really looking forward to seeing all your comments and all those words Nord Green, and, and good luck to you all. And if you can't wait to see if you've won, don't forget that you can still get 15% off if you go through the link that is underneath this video and you put in the code Deirdre and that will give you an automatic 15% off anything on the Nord Green site. So I hope you really enjoyed this video, ladies. If you have, please do give it a thumbs up and press on the thumbs up like button underneath the video because that gives me an idea of what you really like and I can make more of them for you. And also, as I said, do please comment. And if you're new here, do subscribe because I'd love to have you as part of our really wonderful community that we have here. I create new videos and new shorts videos as well every week where I talk about do's and don'ts of what works and what doesn't work and really good styling tips. <laughs> so all the links are in the video description underneath. I hope you have a really amazing day, a really amazing week. It's been lovely to talk to you and I'll see you really soon. Lots of love. Bye. Bye.